Hello everybody. Today we lost one of the legends of rock and roll. His real name was Edward Joseph Mahoney, better known as Eddie Money. He passed away today at the age of 70 of esophageal cancer. He just released the information last month that he found out about. He went for a checkup. I'm just totally devastated by the news because I re you know, remember his first album came out in 1977 and uh, they were playing them on FM radio, but FM radio wasn't as popular back then. So they wanted really to get on AM radio, top 40 radio. So instead of releasing the song, Two Tickets to Paradise, it had a really long guitar solo. So they were looking for a catchy AM radio hit. So they decided to release Baby Hold On. Powerhouse concert promoter Bill Graham said that Eddie Money had everything. Great entertainer, great songwriter. He played a couple different instruments, including the saxophone. Uh, he was just a funny guy. Uh, I did get to see him in concert. Here's the ticket. He was at the House of Blues. and. 2007 and I just got to see what a great entertainer he was. He was just so at home with the audience and he was funny. And he also brought his children into the act, I believe in 2015. His whole band was his, his children. He had his son on drums. I remember seeing him back in 2007 and his daughter on guitar, Jesse. There's also a, a reality show that came out in 2018 called Real Money. I've been a fan and I've, you know, for a very long time and I always will be. And um, some people even say, you know, hey, Eddie looks like me. Or maybe I look like Eddie, I don't know. But uh, he had a great sense of humor, as I was saying, um, on this first album. He covered a song called You Really Got a Hold On Me. It was a song by Smokey Robinson and Smokey told him, hey, he liked his version better than the Beatles. And then Eddie joked with him and said, you know what? I like my version better than yours, Smokey. I, I happen to agree. It's a great version of You Really Got a Hold On Me. Um, Eddie Money had 11 top 40 hits, and he sold close to 30 million albums. The first album that I showed you here, it's a self-titled Eddie Money, that went double platinum. And he continued to be popular and he had a lot of hits, you know, in the late 70s and 80s. Uh, we almost lost him back in 1983 of uh, drug and alcohol abuse. Uh, it messed him up so much he said he couldn't even walk for a whole year. But uh, thank goodness he, was, he realized that he, he was still funny without all the uh, drugs and alcohol. So that helped him kick the habit as well. Humor always helps to transcend things to another level. Well, today um, I wanted to celebrate his life a little bit and maybe show you some CDs and albums and some collectibles that you might not have seen before. This is an album called Ready Eddie and it has a lot of uh, original material on it. Uh, this one, I want to go back, put that out a couple years ago. This album here was great because he did all, you know, covers of older songs, you know, like Mockingbird, Higher and Higher, uh, Good Lovin'. It's just a really fun album. And this one's called Unplugging It In. It's uh, really cool. It does, uh, you know, a lot of those great songs and you get to hear them kind of scaled down. Uh, here's another one, Eddie Money, Love and Money. Here's another one. This is called Eddie Money, Nothing to Lose. Very prolific artist, lots and lots of albums and a lot of greatest hits, lots of different incarnations of the greatest hits album. There's Eddie Money Gold. And here's, I think this was probably his first one. And it's a, it's a Greatest Hits album. Some of these went off print. And this was really cool. It's uh, his first two albums. There it is. These are his first two. 
Eddie Money and Life for the Taken. And in this one here was his comeback album after his near fatal drug overdose. Um, really cool triple, triple disc there. And uh, we talked a little bit about Life for the Taken. This is his second album. I remember uh, listening to it. They debuted it on FM radio. It was this incredible record. Uh, this is the regular release. It's got uh, a red Columbia label on it. And this one here is a promotional copy. You can see the uh, promotional sticker of the songs on it. There it is. And look at the white label. That's how you can tell they're promotional. They Sometimes they'll even change the whole label. That meant it was loaned out for promotion only, like at a radio station or a record store, so they could play. I don't know how that one ended up for sale. This was from uh, Meet and Greet. Here's the proof shots, and there's the, the wristband you needed to get in. And that's Eddie Money. He's signing this autog these, autog these two autographs right here. And this is another one. So I will always treasure these Eddie Money autographs. This is uh, Eddie Money, and it's studio versions and live versions of some songs from the No Control album. And this one over here, I bought this one on eBay. Eddie Money Live 1979 Life for the Taken Tour. And it's really cool. You get to see him perform the early part of his career. Also got a, um, a DVD, Greatest Video Hits, which was really cool from that same vendor. And this one, I believe, is out of print, but it was available on DVD and CD. And this is was released in the late 1990s, I believe around 1997. And it's called Shaken with the Money Man. You can get a really great idea of, of how he sounded in concert and just how personable he was. You know, Eddie Money was, he was very outspoken. I'll tell you one anecdotal story. A couple of years ago, uh, he was interviewed and he said something like, you know, uh, my wife drives me crazy. She's always buying these expensive outfits he said, and uh, that really hurts the Jew in me or something like that. And I was totally shocked because I thought he was Irish Catholic. He was actually raised Irish Catholic, but um, his mother was born Jewish. So technically he is considered Jewish. So you can't call him anti-Semitic for saying that. Uh, there was also a lot of talk about Eddie Money being a police officer. He did go through basic training and he, I think he had a desk job. You know, a lot of people think, you know, Eddie Money as maybe, you know, you know, going out on high risk drug busts and things like that. But uh, he just worked a short time, you know, because his dad and his uncle and some other family members were in the New York City police force. And then he came out to... To California in the 70s and the rest was history. Well, we are going to deeply miss you, Eddie. Your music will go on forever, just like your family said, and you will be always fondly remembered uh, for all your talent and your catchy tunes and all your funny remarks that you make. Some of them uh, a little off color, but uh, you know, he meant no harm. Anyway, this is DJ Jerry um, on a very sad Friday the 13th. That's right, September the 13th, 2019, the day we lost Eddie Money. Bye-bye, everybody.